Well, side saddle is really steeped in tradition. This, ladies have been known to have ridden side saddle for 600 years. That's when the first written account of it. So side saddle is, is hugely traditional, but it's also really empowering for women because until there were side saddles, women walked, they cooked, they embroidered, they rode sideways, maybe behind their men, they maybe rode in carriages if they were really wealthy. Um, when it was invented, the saddle with the, the pommel so that the woman could hook her leg over, still wear her skirts, still look gorgeous, but still be safe. Women didn't look back. And they rode that way until actually the advent of trousers after the first war. It's very modest, very traditional. So for we have two styles of riding basically, the English, um, based on what would be done in the UK and there were so many people that came over to settle in Canada, in Western Canada. So there's a lot of English side saddles habits. So they've got their, their either a tall silk hat or a bowler. Always a veil um, to keep your hair tidy. Also to stay modest. Um, you're not to be out and flashy. And so there's nothing more actually very glamorous than a lady sort of behind a veil, uh, a stock a white waistcoat, uh, heavy mountain wool, it's like 16 ounce wool um, um, habit that has got a jacket and an apron, a safety apron so that it's very carefully contrived so that if the lady does fall, she's not hung up. Be to find out that this was happening here at the Stampede uh, was amazing because for many of us, if we're ranch women, we're very used to riding hours alone. Now we find out we will be galloping home in front of what 40,000 cheering fans yeah <laughs> just keep our mind in the middle and our legs on the same side <laughs>